Engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to Excel. Hi, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to show how to integrate grid, battery, and load in MATLAB Simulink software. The idea of the system is the grid will supply to the load and charge the battery during standard and off peak hours. Because the tariff, the electricity tariff at these hours are cheaper. And during the on peak or peak hours, the battery or energy storage will supply to the load. Because at this time, electricity tariffs are higher. Which means from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., the energy storage will supply. And other times, the grid will supply. This is our system, which is our head belt. We have a grid there, our load demand. Here's our energy storage. Is DC, DC to AC converter. Our energy management system. Measurement. Let me just write it down. Now let's open each component to see. Here's our grid. Let me just change the parameters. Here we have three phase measurement, measurement. We have a circuit breaker. It shows that the circuit breaker will open from 6 a.m. from 6 to 9 a.m. and then from 6 to 8 p.m. Here we have our three phase measurement again after the circuit breaker. Here we have our voltage and the three phase voltage and three phase current. Here is to generate the active and the reactive power here our active power or our power is multiplied by 1.732 is to put in three phase divided by as well converted to mega here we have our load the first load as you can see 380 voltage, 60 frequency, and 1.6 mega. We have the second one, which is I call it as a HVAC, have 9.6 megawatt, and the actual load, which is 2.7 megawatt. Now let's go to the our energy storage. Our energy storage is the 
three what's the, the parameters let me see we have our bidirectional dc dc back boost converter here we have our inductance and our capacitor value and we have our resistor just to resistance and then we have our mosfet without changing anything we have our gate switch go back here i have our dc ac converter here we have our three phase series horizon we have our breaker the first breaker as you can see it 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 close it goes from 6 a.m to 9 a.m and then from 8 and 6 p.m to 8 p.m Here we have our AC to, to DC inverter from grid to the switch, which is the demand that is going to charge. This is, is the circuit breaker opening time. Here we have our three phase measurement. Here we have AC to DC, this is our rectifier, we change it to diode. Here we have our energy management system, it's the control, charging and discharging of the energy but energy storage system. Here we have our measurements. To avoid simulating for a long time, let's change our switching and opening and closing time of our breakers to 2, 3 and, and 4 to 5. Let's change here as well. I think we are done now we are ready to to simulate to just reduce the time it didn't take long please don't forget to subscribe to our channel share our content comment and like our video let's just be patient it will take time as you can see the system starts by charging the energy storage Let's check our results. As you can see, 
the grid supplies from 0 to 2 and from 2 to 3 is off is not supplying from 3 to 4 is supplying and from 4 to 5 is not supplying from 5 to 6 is supplying here is the, the power that is used to charge the energy storage system. And then the energy storage system is supplying from 2 to 3, from 4 to 5, and it's not supplying from 5 to 6. 